Let's switch off Earth's gravity, send you plummeting thousands of light years into deep space, and of course, we're going to give you a spacesuit because you're about to take a journey into a black hole. Now, don't be fooled by its size. Even though it's only 10 miles long, it actually has the mass of 10 suns. That's the difference between you and the guy she told you not to worry about. At this distance, you're safe enough for your fellow space voyagers to observe. So we went ahead and brought your friends along for the ride. Now, due to the immense gravitational pull of black holes, physics behaves a little strange the closer you get. Light from distant stars bends around the black hole. This bending, known as gravitational lensing, creates a ring-like image around the dark central void. The closer you get, the light distortion grows stronger, and the amount of night sky around you shrinks. For now, you're loving life and you float through space with ease. But all that's about to change. Let's give you a watch, because when you get close to a massive object like a black hole, you're going to need it, as something very strange happens to time. And no, you don't time travel. Well, not quite. It's actually called time dilation. Remember your friends? Well, for every second that passes for you, an increased amount of time passes for the observers back at the ship. And the closer you get, the stronger this effect becomes. In fact, the difference can become so great that for small fractions of time that you experience, months or even years can pass for anyone watching from a distance. That means while you've been busy wondering whether a text message that says, hey, with two Ys will get your crush to text you back, she got married, had two kids, and has probably completely forgotten about your existence. At this stage, half of your field of view is taken up by the black hole, and you've reached a special imaginary point known as the photon sphere. This is a region where gravity has got so strong that light particles known as photons are forced to travel in orbits as they can't enter or leave. At this point, you would be able to see the back of your head. Huh? You heard me right, the back of your head. This happens when the photons leaving the back of your head travel once around the black hole and then are seen by your eyes. So it's a good job you got that clean cut before heading to space. Now, I think it's best you say goodbye to your friends for good because you're about to reach the point of no return, known as the event horizon. This is the boundary defining the region of space-time around a black hole, where gravity is so strong that nothing, including light, can escape from it. For a black hole the mass of 10 suns, the event horizon would only be 30 kilometers from its center. You can think of it sort of like a black hole's surface, but don't worry about it being as dark as you might think. The light from distant stars and galaxies are sucked in with you and illuminate your surroundings. And in order to escape, you need to be traveling faster than the speed of light. This boundary in space is very unusual. To an observer, you will appear to be stationary in space, and the image of you will grow increasingly red in a process known as redshift. This unusual phenomenon occurs as the wavelength of light traveling from you becomes stretched, creating this image that you're turning red. As you keep traveling forward, the darkness of the void would cover most of your field of view. And if you turned around, the view of the universe would gradually grow smaller and more distorted as it narrows into one point. What you feel next is the extreme gravitational forces exerted on your body. And I'm sorry about this, you have one second to live. Your body stretches out and your bones and tissues are ripped apart. So maybe that haircut didn't matter after all. This process is so gruesome that scientists came up with a terrifying name for it, spaghettification. Now, this might sound like certain death, but there is some evidence that you could survive or even surpass this point into the black hole. Hmm? But how? Scientists have observed black holes ripping stars apart in this exact way throughout the universe. The process releases tremendous amounts of energy and is visible to us millions of light years away. But this all depends on the type of black hole in question. Not to make these black holes feel insecure, but they're not the largest out there. Supermassive black holes are amongst the largest type of black hole and can be billions of times as massive as our own sun. That's the difference between the guy she told you not to worry about and the guy she told the guy she told you not to worry about not to worry about. Our solar system is currently in orbit around a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A. 
It's a whopping 4.2 million times more massive than the Sun and 5.5 trillion times more than the Earth. For comparison, if the Sun was the size of a tennis ball, Sagittarius A would be the size of the entire USA. But what if we sent you through a black hole this size? New research conducted through computer modeling shows that supermassive black holes contain a second type of singularity, known as mass inflation singularity. It is thought that if the black hole was to be rotating and you traveled into it at the right speed and angle, you would not be stretched anywhere near as much. While you may closely resemble a pancake, under the right conditions you could actually survive. But what would you see on the other side? One popular thought is a theory known as wormhole theory, a solution to Einstein's equation where the structure of space-time is strongly bent by gravity. Put simply, if you bent space-time with immensely heavy objects like black holes, you could connect two extremely distant parts of space. But let's rewind and continue our search to find out if it's actually possible to get close enough to an event horizon without meeting certain doom. To answer that, we need to look at examples of travelers who have been brave enough to get close to a black hole and live to tell the tale. No, I'm not talking about dudes with capes. I'm referring to star PG-1610 plus 062. You heard of him? It's the only known object to come into close proximity yet still manage to escape. But trust me when I tell you that this incredible feat came at a hefty cost. Once upon a time, our star was a mighty red giant. But once it was captured by the black hole's gravity, the outer layers of the star containing hydrogen were stripped off and careened toward the event horizon, leaving just the core known as a white dwarf, which raced away from the gravitational clutches of the black hole at the immense speed of 1.2 million miles per hour. So if we compared that to a human, it would be similar to dipping you into a vat of acid and then pulling you out to reveal a cluster of flesh and bones. But let's say you could make it to the other side. Could this be a tunnel through space to other areas of the universe? Or maybe even a connection between our universe and others? For now, it's yet to be seen, but what we have seen is the phenomenal nature of physics. How easily time can be bent through space. How there is so much out there we have yet to explore. And how tiny we are compared to the universe. But this shouldn't make you feel scared or worried. On the contrary, our daily problems are so small in comparison to a red giant or a black hole that they're not worth stressing over. No matter how large the universe is, you only see the world through your own two eyes. So sit back, relax, and enjoy it while it lasts. And who knows? Maybe sending hey with two Y's did work.